One of my favorite chart types is the pie chart, as a lot of flexibility and a lot of fun can be created when you use one. However, we know its restrictions. It can only work with one series of data. Now that's great because we have the summary sales tab here on our sales data file. It is one series of data. It is the total sales for each country. What we have though is so many countries that some of the countries have such a small slither of the pie that they don't really figure. So what we want to be able to do is split out those smaller countries into a separate pie that is then shown as part of other on the main pie. Now this will make more sense when you see it in action. So we want to create a chart to start with using this data. Let's go with the quick method, the F11. That doesn't get what we want because we want a pie chart, but we can go to change chart type, come down to the pie chart category and choose what we're really after, which is a pie of a pie. One click and you can see that's what you're going to get. Main chart and a sub chart. Okay. Now what I can't tell is what's happening where. So this is obviously a split of that segment, but what is that segment? So let's add the data labels. Chart element, data labels, more data label options. And we need not the value, but the percentage and then the category name. So I know what each of these slices are. So you can see what's happened. It's taken other and created a new pie from other. So these are the other countries. And then these are the countries it has in the main pie. However, what it's not done is actually split them by their size. Really, the big countries should be here and this should be made up of all the little countries. The reason for that is I haven't told it how to split the pie up. It's made an assumption of its own. So I need to be able to control how the split from the big pie to the little pie takes place. Well, we do that in the series data. So you come over here to the dialog box that's open on the right, the chart dialog box in the drop list next to label options, because that's the label options for the data labels. We come down to the series that I'm interested in, which in this case is called the sales because it's the sales values. And here you can see split the series based by. Now at the moment, it's making the split based on the position in the list of sales, not on their values. So all it's done is gone through my list of countries, taken so many out and put them on the left and the rest on the right. So we need to change that to the percentage value. And then based on what kind of percentage well at the moment which is the default 10 percent, you can see it's placed united kingdom as half of the big slice then england and then other which is all of these so 50 percent of my sales are in united kingdom 20 percent of those sales are also in england and 30 percent are the other which is all over here but i can have a little experiment with this percentage value and say well let's drop it a little and as the percentage value drops less countries fall into that category therefore less countries are in this pie and they move into the bigger pie so you can see at seven percent the united states has moved into the big pie because they're on 10 but we can drop more sort of doing the adjustment to suit what you want to see you can go right down to two percent even right down to one percent brings in a few more countries and then other is now only four percent which is all of these tiny little countries so i might go back up to two two looks quite good so you can control the split for the pie in the pie. This pie is a split of that segment. So this other, which is 12% of my sales, is actually broken down even further, which means you can see them. If these were all little tiny slithers on the main pie chart, they become pretty invisible and very hard to read and see where they are. Here they are now as a much larger segment of a whole pie, because this whole lot added together is only 12% of the main pie. So a little bit of experimentation. You might not want to do it on percentage value. You might want to do it on actual value. Maybe a little bit higher than one. What about sales of three? Let's go to five. Five's okay, what about 10? It's all experimentation. 10 works okay. So that's based on the actual sales value. So $10, any country selling less than $10 is in the little pie and forms part of others in the main pie. Or we did it on percentage and then it's a split on the percentage of the sales rather than the actual sales. So you choose what you want and decide how you want to make that split. You could even do it on position. If you've already sorted your data here into an order you want to work with, then you could do it on position. So then you're fully in control and you just decide how many values you want in the second. Currently that's three, but I could keep going up four, five, six, seven, eight. So it would go down my list and move each one of those across into the pie within the pie because we're based on their position in the list. I think I'm going to go with the percentage. 
and remain at the 2% mark because that gives me a good split. So that's pi within a pi. Now the other option here is not to have a pi within a pi, but to have a bar of a pi where your split on the right hand side then is not a pie chart, but just bars that represent obviously the relative sales. So I do that OK. It should retain the same percentages it does. I'm still on 12% other, but then my countries are all tiny slithers, so horizontal slithers representing their amount of the sales that forms that other. I prefer the pie in the pipe. Easily change back, and it remembers the split setting, so we're good to go. So hopefully that's quite useful. It's just a way of splitting out the very, very small slithers of a big pie into a smaller pie. They then form other in the main pie chart.